Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be talking about how to organize your Flask projects beyond a single file. So there are many ways that you can approach this. So I'm just giving you one approach to doing this. So if you like my approach, you can try it out. I'll include the code that I write in this video in the description below. So you can have a starting point for your projects if you want to use my approach. So this video actually comes from my course called Flask for Beginners. So you can go to my website and check it out if you want. I'll have a link in the description below as well for the course. So I hope to see you in the course and I hope you enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and organize our app with multiple files. So the first thing is I have this one blueprint that's in here. Like I said, it will come from a different file. So we can start here. We can start by creating a file for the blueprints. So what I'll do is I'll create a file called views. So new file, views.py. So by views, I simply mean all the routes that go into the project. So if you have a ton of routes, you can create a folder instead called views and then put the individual blueprints in their own modules or files and then separate it that way or you can separate it even further down so let's say you have one blueprint and then inside of that blueprint folder you have maybe four or five subfolders or sub files and you can put your routes in there it just depends on how many you have since the app will be building as an example is relatively small uh, we won't go into detail with putting things in folders but just know with python Really, the only thing you need to do to make a folder behave like a file is put that dunder init in the folder. That's kind of a simplified explanation. But once you get that process down, it's very easy to break a file down into folders to organize things a little bit better. So we'll take this blueprint and we'll simply move all the code from the create app into this views. And then I need to import that blueprint at the top. So, uh, import blueprint don't need to import flask and i'll just make sure the indentation is right and save this so now the views.py file is fine so to get this blueprint working again what i need to do is i need to import it from views so from dot views so from the views that's on the same level in this project import main and then this register blueprint here stays the same. So let's go ahead and see if it works. So I go here, I still see blueprint hello, but to make sure it works, let's try blueprint views.py hello. So if we see that, then we know the files work because I'm in a different file. And we see blueprint views.py hello. So that's the first file. So if you want to have more routes, of course, you just put them in here like you would in the first pattern that we saw using the app object instead of the blueprint. So the second thing I'll do is a little bit of configuration. So the configuration in this case is non-existent for this app, but let's say we did have some configuration, we can put it in a file. So for the create app, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a parameter and I'll call it config file. And I'll just simply give it the name of the file. So settings.py. So obviously I'll create that settings.py. But the reason why I'm giving this a default is because when I run it through Flask Run, I want it to pick up settings.py. If I were deploying this on a server elsewhere, I wouldn't use Flask Run. Flask Run is only for development purposes. So instead what I would do is I would create another file and I would pass the configuration to this create app in that file. And then my server, whatever I have to run my Flask app, will read that file, create the app with that configuration that I pass in and run the app. So this way I can have configuration for many different environments. So for example, on your dev machine, you can have one database set up. And then when you deploy to your production environment where people actually use the app, you can have another configuration so they don't clash with each other. So in this case, I'm keeping it simple with just settings.py. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that file. So settings.py. And in that file, I'm going to import OS and I'm importing OS so I can read from the environment. So as an example, this is something that I would do, but I don't have any configuration available for this app. So let's say I wanted to do something like a secret key. I could say os.environ.get 
and then secret key. And if I sort my secret key inside of a env file here, so dot env, I can say secret key equals my super secret key. So just as a reminder, when you run flask run, this dot env file will get run and everything in here will get stored in the environment variables. So secret key will become an environment variable. Then in here, I'm reading that environment variable and saving it as a secret key. And then inside of my app, I have the settings.py as the config file by default. And I just need to set that configuration. So to do that, when you have a file name, you can do app.config.from pi file and then the name of the file. But since it's from config file, I'll just put config file here. So our app still works, so we know it works. So the next thing that I want to do is handle extensions. So I could put the extensions in here, but instead what I'll do is I will create a new file called extensions.py. And in this one, I will import an extension. So let's say SQL Alchemy. So from Flask SQL Alchemy imports SQL Alchemy. And then instead of doing DB equals SQL Alchemy and then passing in the app, you wouldn't pass in anything. So you save this here. And then you go back to the Dunder init and you import that extension. So from dot extensions, import DB. And then inside of the application factory, I can put the app on the extension. So DB and then init app. So each extension you use in Flask is going to have this init app function and you simply pass in the app object. So it's a little backwards in how things are done. Like first you would pass in the app directly here, but now you wait and you pass in the app here. So in a simple example like this, it seems kind of useless. It seems wasteful, but as your app grows, it's a lot easier to import DB from extensions.py and use it throughout your app than it is to import it from the same place that your app is because there will be some circular imports if you do that. For example, if I put DB equals SQL Alchemy app here, and I try to import this here, it wouldn't work because I'm inside the function. So then I would have to think of another way to import DB, and that would basically be getting rid of the create app. If I did the approach like I'm doing here, where I instantiate SQL Alchemy without the app, it will still be difficult even if I put it up here because I would be importing DB from the main file, the dunder init file, but it wouldn't ignore the other things in the file. So you see I'm importing views, I'm importing flask, I'm importing views, I'm importing other extensions. So they will kind of clash with each other at a certain point. So by importing from one file only, there are no collisions here. Like this has nothing to do with the main app file. So you'll never run into issues with the main app when you simply want to import this. So I have the DB instantiated there. And now let's run the file. So let's save it, restarts, and we see the app still works. So if I wanted to have models for my project, I could create another file called models.py. And then I will import the DB object from extensions. So from extensions, import DB, and then I can create a model. So my model, db.model, and then I can do whatever I need to do here. So this is the basic structure that we're going to start with. And this is extendable. So if you want to change any of these to folders, you can, and you just may have to change the imports a little, but to keep things simple, I'll just have the files here. And it's a really good first step to organizing your project. And like I said, if you need to extend it, it's much easier to extend than if you had started with a single file.